Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ala halal family Welcome to the channel you beautiful uh, people It's uh, your brother from another mother None other than Mr. Halal guys Alhamdulillah I'm back from Indonesia It's been about I think maybe two weeks um, I uh, haven't uh, uploaded a video Because we were a little bit behind Uploading the Indonesian videos Because of the fact that the internet was so slow So I had to actually come back And upload those videos And then the brothers who are helping in Indonesia They had to download it and edit it And upload it So there was a lot of technical issues But Alhamdulillah we got through it We uploaded all of those And uh, today I just wanted to come uh, And uh, give you guys an overview of how the trip went and uh you know share some of you guys comment and feedback so alhamdulillah the trip uh, went good um you know i uh, went from vancouver to seattle i had around five hours of layover there in in seattle and then from seattle i went to tokyo tokyo had about 18 hours of uh, layover so got to rest there a little bit alhamdulillah and then from there went to jakarta as soon as getting off the plane in jakarta like it was warm it was which was nice i love the airport it was really easy to go through security and um, go outside and as you know you guys saw there was a little bit of a hiccup um, at the front with taxis and whatnot and uh, that's that's common you know the, uh, going to a foreign country you're gonna come across things uh, like that and, and uh, um, it was nothing negative for example just an experience that I, I came across and uh, you know I wasn't bothered for, for it and it didn't change uh, uh, the way I look at in Indonesia in any way because um, you know, with that single negative experience, for example, there was like tens and twenty positive experiences that that uh, I had. The only thing was that this kind of was in video, so you guys were able to uh, see it. So because this was on video, you guys were able to see. And some of the other experiences which were positive, you know, I hadn't uh, recorded it. So, uh, but you know, there was uh, a lot of those. So you know, from there, then Alhamdulillah, I took the the bus to Gambir, and then from there, a motorcycle ride. Uh, to the hotel and I was super tired just crashed and then the, the next morning uh, I wasn't really happy with, with the hotel that I stayed at so I tried to find a, a new place that took a little bit of time kind of moving around uh, so it literally basically it left me with like three four days to kind of uh, see the city and also because of the weather um, you know it was rainy so it couldn't really go um, around to see too many places and also the fact that I didn't understand the language and um, you know I hadn't booked anything ahead of time so it was last minute stuff but luckily I found a ticket for the U17 Morocco versus Mali and alhamdulillah I went to um, Solo and then I had to come back because I wanted to go to uh, Bandung uh, because uh, the brother Tio as well as brother Fessel who helped with the channel with the video editing as well as you know uh, reading you guys comment and uh, uh, communicating with you guys through social media channels I wanted to meet them but unfortunately they weren't uh, available because of their uh, previous um, um, previous basically events that they had to uh, attend to with their school as well as for example family um, so unfortunately I wasn't able to do that but I wanted to see the the city yeah, itself so alhamdulillah I got to go around see get a motorcycle try a little bit of the food and then I got stuck in the rain uh, so I still wanted to make the best out of it and uh, went around drove around the city a little bit with the rain and the uh, rain actually got into my laptop so I ended up uh, damaging the screen um, so now I'm just working on alhamdulillah getting that uh, fixed and uh, then I had to come back to Jakarta because the following day at night time I had to go to the airport so uh, that's why I couldn't go to uh, quite a bit of uh, places. Uh, joke, I couldn't go, for example, Bali, Aceh, and, and some of the other areas. So um, here's the one of the first comments that I wanted to kind of read for you guys, um, which the butter mentioned that, you know, when I was heading out, um, I, I maybe f uh, seemed a little bit less enthusiastic than in comparison to um, when I came. And that was not because, for example, I had a bad experience. But because when I was at the airport, it was already one or two in the morning, so I was pretty tired. And uh, when I actually arrived uh, at uh, Jakarta, I was pretty rested because I stayed in, in Tokyo and I actually got to sleep. Uh, but when I went to the airport the day that I was flying out, I was uh, up basically the whole day. And uh, it was, yeah, basically two in the morning. Uh, my flight was at six, so I had to be there like three 
hours early, but I ended up being there like six hours early. But, you know, alhamdulillah, I made the best out of it. Try some food there too. So, uh, which was good. But I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys that, you know, there was nothing that I uh, had a bad experience that, um, you know, caused that anything. It was just uh, more of the trip itself, being tired. And that kind of impacted uh, me. And I might have not had a, a lot of uh, energy. And this was also because it was pretty late. And uh, here's uh, another uh, of uh, subscribers. You guys uh, mentioning that, you know, um, how come I didn't go to uh, Brono and uh, some of the other areas? And that was also because of the, the limited uh, number of days that I had. So, uh, subhanAllah, going from one part to another is pretty time consuming. Like, I spent just to go to solo, I think, 10 hours in the bus. And I think another 10 hours. So that was like a whole day, me just sitting in the bus. And uh, same thing with uh, Bandong. When I went to Bandong, it was a few hours, for example, in the bus. Uh, but then coming out, coming back, it took a few hours in the in the train. Or actually, I took the train there and the train back. Uh, so that commute was pretty time consuming. Uh, and also the fact that it was raining, I wasn't able to kind of go some areas and kind of get you guys more drone footage or even, you know, walk around. Um, so inshallah, I'm, I'm hoping to come back um, and uh, I'm hoping you guys uh, are able to support me and in, in getting to that point. I'm hoping inshallah, once we hit 500k, if it's in January, I'll come in January. Um, so if you guys are able to, you know, everything helps. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you very much, um, you know just smashing that like button leaving a comment that helps with the algorithm of youtube um, to help show the video in front of uh, more subscribers that could uh, basically help us grow our, our channel so let's look at the next one uh, and a lot of you guys had some great comments you know um inviting me to your place and inviting um and you know inviting to uh, help me next time inshallah explore the city so thank you very much there like i say truly appreciate you guys' uh, love and support um some individuals were a little bit upset and thought that maybe uh, i was taking advantage of the taxi drivers uh, in the airport because when they said for example 300k i said 250 and then the ones that said 250 i said 200 you know i'm i'm new for example in a, in a new country my first time i don't know what the rates are so i have to try to bargain to kind of understand for example what the costs are right so when you guys first saw me get out of uh, the airport the first suggestion was 950k and then from there we went to around 300 and then 250 200 finally where you know i found the bus i didn't know any of this right so alhamdulillah i found the bus and it was eighty thousand. so um, as a traveler, for example, you have to try to kind of understand what the rates are, right? And um, I try to work with them. If, if they had agreed to those options that I was making, like offering them 230 or 250 or 200 and they accepted, I would have jumped on and gone uh, with them to my destination, but they didn't. So I had to continue to kind of go through that uh uh, that side road to understand what else is available alhamdulillah you know i got to take the bus and uh, for next time a lot of you guys mentioned there is also train so inshallah my next uh, trip i'll be uh, letting you guys know ahead of times when i'll be coming to get you guys a suggestion so that way i can be a little bit more economical uh you know take the train and not have to uh, spend so much money um on taxis and and you know motorcycles and buses and and, and whatnot and if I could use the local uh, transportation this way, I can focus on more seeing the city rather than, you know, staying in, in bus <laughs> and, and taxis. But overall, alhamdulillah, great experience, lots of amazing people, great weather, food. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it was just sad that I wasn't able to go to see some of the scenic areas. Uh, but for me, I just wanted to go and, and kind of get immersed myself into the culture, culture, go to Indonesia one time, understand, right, how things are, inshallah. So on my second trip, um, I, I'm a little bit more familiar with uh, with uh, how things are and to get around uh, the city. So, uh, yeah, and, you know, and there's another comment, for example, um, you know, a lot of uh, people go to York and uh, how come I didn't go? You know, I, I tried to take the wish the train but uh, subhanallah they were all sold out the tickets were sold out and um was it basically impossible to get anything if not i wanted to go because it would have been basically like a 45 minute uh, uh train ride and then 45 minute back uh but because everything was kind of last minute 
I wasn't able to get that. But, um, you know, I wanted to go to some of these places. It was just because of the time. And the reason that I had I had only six days is because it took me two days to get from Vancouver to Jakarta. So I lost two days and then six days were left. And then out of those six days, basically almost two of them kind of went with, you know, moving hotels and, and getting, um, you know, getting some rest. So it was like four days and with four days, um, I couldn't even see a corner of this Jakarta. Um, and it was also, I, I had to basically take those eight days because of the deal on the ticket. So if I was to move it any further, the ticket price would have gone up. Uh, but if I was to basically those take those eight days, that's when um, I would have got the best uh, deal. So I'll give you guys a little bit, for example, overview of how much the ticket was. Uh, roughly, roughly that's like, there you go, 14 million was the ticket from Vancouver to uh, Indonesia, Jakarta. This is minus, for example, the you know hotel and food and, and everything else right and um you know just to let you guys know alhamdulillah you know we're, we're trying to build the channel but the channel is not at a point where it could sustain itself like in the past couple of months i've been averaging maybe like twenty dollars twenty dollars per month so i'll tell you guys how much that is that's how much per month i make on youtube roughly um and that's you know how it is because of the viewers where they come from and it doesn't cover its own expenses because as you guys might know uh brother gian alhamdulillah um he helps with you know um uh, with the translations and uh closed captioning and brother tio muhammad tio he alhamdulillah helps with editing and um, creating those videos and then brother fessel um you know he helps with the social media side of things uh, ensuring that you know we we upload content as well as engage uh, with you guys so there's also those co uh, costs and a lot of it basically is out of pocket uh, costs that I have to cover but you know inshallah if we have to build something sometimes you have to kind of invest that time energy as well as make financial uh, uh, contributions to it so but inshallah I'm hoping you know you guys can also uh, help by just uh, you know if you haven't subscribe to the channel please and if you're subscribed, you know, smashing that like button or leaving a comment will definitely help to get the video in front of uh, more uh, subscribers. So, um, yeah, guys. And then also one thing that I wanted to uh, share with you guys is, inshallah, I'll be giving away a brand new iPhone, uh, iPhone SE, third generation, your uh, option of picking red or black. Um, and uh, that will be done at 500K. So, inshallah, if we can hit 500K maybe by the New Year's, and that way the next time inshallah i come i can bring the phone with me and hope to uh, you know give it to somebody in jakarta that would be amazing and then that way i can meet with them and actually uh upload that uh, video guys uh, for you guys uh, as well so thank you thank you thank you very much uh, indonesia for all your love and uh, support it was a great experience it was a great trip and i can't wait inshallah to uh, uh visit you guys again and this time check out some of the scenic areas like bruno um komodo island uh bali uh yeah and then many other that you guys have uh, suggested as well as try the delicious food so thank you thank you thank you very much guys for all your love and support. I hope you guys take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. and